Times you hear of situation where people use storefront garages and all them places to carry out them wrongs. These people use the church to carry out them wrongs. Hi guys, welcome to What's What Jamaica News TV. If this is your first time here, please make sure that you subscribe. If it's not your first time here and you have not yet subscribed, please do so right now. And now for the news. Drug trafficking carried out under the guise of a Christian organization, Trio found guilty of bringing marijuana from Jamaica into a UK church. Three members of a criminal organization who brought 400 kilograms of marijuana from Jamaica into the United Kingdom, UK, under the guise of a Christian ministry, have been found guilty. The trio, 50-year-old Dalton Anderson, 45-year-old Alvin Russell, and 64-year-old Sinclair Tucker, were all found guilty last Thursday in Birmingham Crown Court, UK, after a five-week trial. All three were accused with conspiring to import Class B drugs, cannabis, and Anderson was additionally accused of having five kilograms of the substance in his possession with the purpose to distribute it after being arrested. On January 27, 2023, a sentence is anticipated for them. The three men were under investigation after the smuggling of the drugs was carried out by the Birmingham-based organization Vision Christian Ministries BCM, according to a statement from the UK's National Crime Agency NCA, a copy of which was obtained by Loop News. The material would be valued up to £2 million if sold in the UK. In sealed tins of Callaloo, a Jamaican green vegetable, and ackee fruit, the cannabis was transported from Jamaica to the UK via Birmingham Airport, according to the statement. Between March and May of 2017, the material was sent in three different consignments that were addressed to the religious organization. UK Border Force later recovered the consignments. Following a check of the third consignment that had arrived from Jamaica on May 23, 2017, Anderson, Russell, and Tucker were detained at Birmingham Airport. According to the statement, NCA investigators established that they organized the importation and collected the medicines from the airport. When the importations were made, Anderson and Russell also spent some time in Jamaica, handling money and giving shipping papers to VCM via Tucker, it was stated. According to NCA, Russell and Tucker were found guilty the following day, while Anderson was found guilty on Tuesday, November 29, at Birmingham Crown Court. Anderson, Tucker, and Russell, according to NCA operations manager Rick McKenzie, cynically used a Christian ministry as a smokescreen to import huge amounts of cannabis into the UK. The seizure, along with others like it, send a clear message to anyone considering attempting to bring illegal substances into the country that we are dedicated and prepared to confront drug supply chains, the official continued. So a comment where somebody says these people should be coming out of jail, not going in. All the 64 year old band now using a church, the front of a church to do them wrongs. It's so ridiculous how far people will go to commit crime. On the other hand, it was packaged. They were packaged in sealed containers of Aki containers and Kalalo containers. Now, you can't just pick up a can out on the street and seal it like that. For them to carry so much drugs in, in sealed container, that means eh, them have some businessman somewhere out in a Jamaica who them carry the drugs go to or who are collect the drugs for them and seal it into the container. They have to have the equipment to do that. They have to have the labels, all those things to do that. That means that they had some help from some big time businessman out of Jamaica. Or else this would not have been possible. This is why you, it's like trust issue in a Jamaica is hard. It is difficult. Because the people them who you least expect will do certain things. They are the ones doing it. People now, I mean, maybe them have a church, a real church. 
And the people them inside of the church think, oh, this man is a Christian. But they just use the church as an avenue to get drugs into the country. Anyway, guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and hit the notification bell so you will be notified of all new videos.